regular rap style. Okay, That's my girl stuff. That's your girl stuff? Yeah. 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 Why are you trying to do that? A dog will use a search. He will find you. He will bite you. Welcome to U.S. Criminals. Our latest video features five cases of shoplifters getting caught. Don't forget to hit like, share, and leave a comment. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming crime stories. If you like this video, press 1. Body cam footage shows the chase of two women accused of shoplifting at a New Jersey Target in August. Oceantown police say 33-year-old Hannah Papendick and her fiancé were caught on camera putting items into bags before leaving the store. Even though Papendick was found alone by the police, she didn't hesitate to tell them where her fiancé was and what they were doing. Both women were then arrested and taken to jail. Stop. Put down here. Yo. Stop. Come here. Here. Stop. Babe, help. Oh, so I'm going out there in front of. In babe, front help. Of. Babe, help. Babe, help. Can you help me? You're under arrest, Scott. For what? For what? Babe, help me. Babe, help. Oh, so I'm out with her in front of the Ford dealership. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Okay. Babe, help me. You make this way worse for yourself. I'm not, but I didn't do anything. You make this way worse for yourself. Can I get, can I get up, please? Real quick, please. I can't breathe. Please. Yeah, turn around. Can I get up, please? Can I get up, please? Quick. You make this way worse for yourself. Yeah, she was pulled from me. I was walking up to him. Her. That's not me. That's somebody. That's, that's Yeah, that's on Howard now. She, she's down there. I swear to God, she's down there. I, she, I, I just left. That's why I was going. I was What's telling you that she's down there. Okay. Yeah, but when I told you to stop, you started running away from me. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. I I went to the to, to Marshall. She's really looking for her. I don't know. I'm telling you, you know, they're not looking for me. They're looking for her. She's down there. Yeah. To ensure safety, officers check suspects before they enter a vehicle to prevent them from carrying weapons or harmful items. If a suspect stays silent during this process, it can indicate they're hiding something or following legal advice. Their silence can complicate investigations, so officers must find ways to encourage cooperation. Understanding the reasons behind a suspect's silence, whether it's fear, anxiety, or something else, can help guide the investigation and ensure everyone's safety. I have a receipt for, for part of them and not all of them. I'll, I'll be honest with you. All right, all right. So there is certain things that you paid for and certain things that you didn't. Yes, yes sir. Sir. All right. All right, do you, want, do you want to pull that up? You don't have to show us. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's up to you. We're, we're going to go to the sewer, and we're going to find I'm out. I'm just going to scan, in. they're going to tell us what was taking all this. Yeah. Wasn't. It'll just speed over. things along if, if you want to show us, but it's totally your decision. You ever been arrested for shoplifting? Um, a while ago. Like, 10 years ago. Um, I had, I went and filled out paperwork for Public Defender yesterday. You went to what? I went to Neptune and filled out paperwork for a Public Defender yesterday for something, for a charge I didn't get, I didn't get arrested for. Um, I'm waiting to see the judge for that. I had to, I have court for that in December. Um, for, yeah, but that's from, I didn't get arrested for it. I saw the judge via Zoom last week and she said, you have until Thursday to file paperwork for a public defender and then we go from there. And I went and did that yesterday, but I haven't been charged with anything like it yet. But like I said, I didn't even get arrested for anything. I haven't shoplifted in they said that they had me on camera doing something, but I didn't actually get like like an officer didn't come and pick me up is what I'm trying to tell you since 2013. I know, sir. I really wasn't. I really wasn't trying to. I was just trying to tell you that she was down there. I I I apologize. I understand. I understand. You said there's another female. Is that who she's with, or this is who she's with? Okay. They've been here 
together at least one other time. She's been here two other times. Did this one steal anything? Yeah. Yes? That's today? actually who we were, like, physically watching today. Okay. Really? Yeah. She was the one we saw, like, this is going to be her. Let me, I'm just going to put a quick description out on her. Is, yeah. that, is that a female? Is that, like, a female? Really? Female short hair? Yeah. Those are the two that ride the bikes down the highway, and they go into Asbury, and then they come back. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, this is all from one person. Yeah. The person you uh, no, this is the other girl. So the one you guys were watching, mm -hmm. it's the other girl who had okay. the dark long hair. Gotcha. So when I was in there with Chris, I saw her taking. So the one with the backpack. This one we don't have the first choice. Right, but I think we know where she is. Okay. She's either a sitting in the woods next to her motel, or B, she's inside her room already. Okay. Because I don't have a total for that merchandise. Yep. for sure that it's a, it's a minor thing, disorderly person's thing, not the end of the world. I think she knows. So Hi, fine. Catherine. How are you? Yeah. Hello, All right. Oh, 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 All right. Hold on a minute. Go. Want to put that down? Thank you for coming out. We appreciate no it. Just yep. back you down. Make sure you didn't do anything. Okay. Just a minor thing at Target. I think yeah, you know what it's yeah. about. Do you have any drugs or anything nope, on nothing. you that's going to hurt me, poke me? Nothing, nothing, no. nothing. All right. Okay. Good case. Yep. So we just want to answer your question. Where's the bag that you took that we Absolutely. saw on camera? Where? Back here. Where over here? Back in the by the well, over there by the dealership. By the dealership. If I drove over you over there, could you show me where you threw it? I mean, kind of. I threw everything. Like I threw it loose. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to be caught with it. Okay. Just put your hands together like you're praying. You got any warrants, Catherine? Nope. You got any warrants? I don't know if I've never met you before. I've never been arrested before or not. The shoplifting is not the end of the yeah, world. We'll get you out in a summons and go to court. All right. All right. Perfect. Right. Got your phone. Appreciate your cooperation. Good luck to you. All right. You got phone. All right. Are right, we going to walk straight? In tough situations, honesty and trust are sometimes challenged. This video shows that we have to face the harsh realities of human nature. We'll talk about a recent event where someone stole over $6,000 worth of clothes and got arrested afterward. Put your hands up there. Hey, put your hands up. Put your hands up there. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. Sorry, you weren't listening and then you, you go in your pockets when I'm trying to talk to you. I tell you, right. I put your hands up and then you immediately put your hands in your pockets. All right. All right. So the reason we're out with you is you parked in a handicapped spot without a handicap placard. Do you have any handicap placard? My mom does. I don't have it on me. Okay. A man was arrested in a supermarket parking lot where he was found in possession of $6,240 worth of stolen merchandise from Saks Fifth Avenue. He was in a handicapped spot using his mother's disability card and the car was registered to his girlfriend. The police knew the suspect had been previously arrested at this supermarket and banned from the premises, but he returned anyway. Though he denied having a weapon or stolen items, a search of his car revealed the stolen merchandise. Eyewitnesses saw him carrying bags to his car, undermining his claims of innocence. The man was arrested for trespassing and possession of stolen goods, despite his insistence that the items belong to his girlfriend. No big deal. So, do you have your license? I work for the city of Cleveland. Okay. You up here shopping? Yeah. And I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I was just in the hurry. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Who's the car registered to? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend? 
Alright. Here's my other IDs too. What do you do for the city of Cleveland? I'm a driver. You're a driver? Yes. What do you drive? A uh, snow removal operator. Okay. Right. Snow removal vehicle operator. Have you ever been arrested at the mall before? Huh? Have you ever been arrested at the mall before? Um, yes. Yes? Did I arrest ago. you? Uh, yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, I arrested you? Yeah. Are you still banned from the mall? No, I don't think so. It was a long time ago. So. Alright. Go ahead and stand up at the front of the car with this officer here. Alright, stand with this officer here. That is affirmative. I do have an active ban on him that expires in 2025. Copy. Alright, go ahead and put your hands here. Familiar, you are being placed under arrest. You are actively banned from the mall. Huh? You're banned from the uh, mall when you're trespassing. Nope. Put your hands behind your back. I've been on pay bus. I did two years on pay Stop right now. Listen to me. Put your hands behind your back. I'm still banned. It's going to take us a minute to pull the report, but the date the ban was issued was December 18th, 2020, and it involved a firearm in a vehicle. All right. You're under arrest. We have to act this I'm going to take this off. For you guys for evidence. I'm under arrest. You're under arrest for trespassing? Yeah. So what I got to what I got to what, what I got to do to deal with this? Go to Thank jail. You, for how long? Until you really get a bond and you post it and then you have to go through court. Can I I don't know what your Can bond is. We'll be able to make yeah. phone calls once we get back there. Uh, this is really, come on, man. There's a matching pair of pants with the same thing on it. I don't know where that would have came from. <laughs> I'm out of lines for my inventory. Twelve seven and radio Miranda. Eight down. I'm gonna hold on to the Versace and Gucci stuff just because I know that it's sold by six. This is H and M. I don't know. In summary, the man was charged by the police for receiving stolen goods, trespassing, and parking in a handicapped zone. In the court of law, you have the right to talk with a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you fully understand these rights as I've read them? Yes. All right. So I'm going to get straight up with you. Another reason we're out here is someone saw you come out to your car three times with bags of stuff. Man. This, I'm just telling you what they told us. I didn't see it. They come saw on, you man. They saw you come out here three times, unload stuff into the car, and then go back in. There's a ton of merchandise in there with tags That's on it. That's my girl stuff. That's your girl stuff yeah, that she has? Yeah, that's her car. She has receipts for all that? That's her stuff, man. Y'all can't take her stuff, man. In Spokane, a recent arrest at a mall led to a surprising discovery. Instead of just dealing with criminal behavior, police found out that substance abuse was driving the individual's actions. Rather than just arresting him, they chose a different route, educating him about the dangers of substance abuse and helping him get into a rehab facility. Wait, are you willing to go to rehab today? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry? I don't know. No. Okay. So I offered to write a rehab and he said no. Okay. 
What's the long term plan for you, man? When are you gonna stop stealing from other people and businesses and stuff? Soon. Soon. But you don't want to get clean off drugs. So then how are you supposed to stop your criminal behavior if you just keep using drugs all the time? It's gonna cause you to steal and victimize others, right? Yeah. That's, that's the root of your problem, right? Is that you're addicted to drugs. In an arrest scenario, a police officer can go beyond simply enforcing the law by showing empathy and concern for the detained person. By treating them with respect, asking about their circumstances, and demonstrating compassion, the officer can transform a tense moment into an opportunity for understanding. This approach helps build trust, suggesting that even in tough situations, human connections matter, and that solutions may go beyond just punishment. Right? And that's all I have to say. I want to smoke a cigarette. So you got several warrants for your arrest. One's for theft, another one's for trespassing. It sounds like you're trespassing today. Hello? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. So this is your copy. I'm sure they read the and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you come back on here, they're going to call us and or me and one of my partners are going to come down here and take you to jail. We're done with your behavior, dude. It's ridiculous. Okay, we've got the Nike store and all these other stores calling in on you stealing all the time. You know that all these places have video? Yeah. Are you aware that that's going yeah. on? Uh -huh. There's cameras recording you when you steal stuff. And a matter of time, it catches up to you. But you're, are you willing to change your behavior and go to rehab? Yeah. You are? Yeah. When are you going to start going to rehab? Yeah. Today. Okay. All right. All right. Any needles in here, Damon? No. You want me to put your copy in here? No. Or you want to have it on your person? Yeah. Sounds good. I'll put it in there for you. How much fentanyl are you using every day, Damon? How many Mexi fentanyl pills do you buy per day? Two or three? Four? Four, four, four per day? About five bucks, seven bucks a, a pill? Five bucks. So that's 20 bucks, roughly 20 bucks a day. And then so you steal from stores and then you trade it for drugs. Or sometimes you panhandle mm -hmm. to get, and then people that feel sorry for you thinking that you're just maybe just a home, poor homeless person, um, and they give you money, and then you take that money and you go buy drugs, which keeps you further in your addiction longer. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you think people should just give you free money so you can buy more fentanyl? No. No, it's a bad idea because eventually you might overdose and die, and that would be bad, right? Yeah. Do you want to die? Yeah. Are you willing to quit your fentanyl use? Yeah. You are. Okay. Alright, I hope so. Okay, go ahead and stand up here. Turn around. Spread your feet really far. far. You got any family in Spokane? No. Yeah. No? Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah. Oh, what city in Idaho are you from? Coral Coral you're not even from Spokane. Okay. How'd you get here? A little tutor here. Smoke fentanyl. It's what you use to smoke fentanyl? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you telling me that? I'm just showing it to you, man. What's that? Okay, right this way, sir. We're gonna go to my car. In arrests, police officers are more than just law enforcers. They're also empathetic individuals. Through gentle and sincere questioning, they foster understanding and cooperation. This demonstrates the importance of empathy, leading to social solutions and rehabilitation rather than solely punishment. 10 a.m. at the downtown library. I'll put this in your backpack.
Worms for Damon Whaley. Damon what? Whaley. Whaley? No. Damon Whaley? No, we're at 44. Is that tunes uh, working now or no? Are you guys going over to pick them up? Yes. I went over there earlier to pick them up just to know you know, Mallory, and then someone told me that a jailer came over and picked them up. Just the jailer was taking stuff over. Okay. So I will go over there and get them as long as no one else has. No, no one else. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Leave the light on. Disregard. Hey, Should I grab them all? Okay. Okay, I'll do that. That'd be great for you fall covert for sir. Hell yeah. On February 25th, 2023, in Barrow Beach, Florida, loss prevention staff at a Walmart were monitoring three female suspects believed to be shoplifting. With advanced surveillance tools and undercover agents, they covertly observed the suspects. Indian River County Sheriff's deputies were also present, waiting for the suspects to leave the store. Hey, hey, guys, stop, stop, stop. What's up, Maria? Stop. Why? Stop. For what? Because I said so. Stop. Why? Excuse me? These three? Yep. Okay, come, come this way. Come on, yeah. stop, stop right here. So okay, okay. Come over this way, real, real quick. Can you to come over this way. You too. You too. Yep. Come over this way. What happened? What's happening? What's happened? Sit. 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 Come on. Come here. Do thing. Sit. Three girls left a supermarket and were stopped by police. They feigned ignorance about the situation and acted confused. Police confiscated their belongings, checked for weapons, then took them back to the store. These suspects were caught shoplifting from a big box store in Florida. They claimed to be Romanian, without IDs. Despite speaking English, they couldn't spell their names. They showed disrespect to the police, who remained calm. The suspects argued loudly, denying theft despite surveillance evidence. Eventually, all were arrested. Anita persisted in questioning, even in the police car. I don't have nothing. What happened? Sit. Thank you. You're back. We'll stay, uh, you're back. 10, 12 down if you want to find out what's going on. Uh, right here. Are these bags? They're ours. Yeah. They are. Yeah. And the sunglasses are ours too. Sunglasses. Oh my god. Yeah. Teddy. Uh, you got handcuffs? Huh? You guys got Can we bring them to our office so we don't go through everything? Yeah, well, let me make sure they don't have any weapons. Okay. Stand up. You stand up. You stay seated. I don't have nothing. Well, I don't know that. Do I know what's in your pockets? Your hands. If you guys, uh, you guys sit, sit. Stand around that way. Yeah, okay. Can you bring the chairs? Go to your room. Go to your room. Correct. There could be a couple items in the back. Just to go to the room. Keep your pants up. 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 All right, let's go this way. Come. Come on, Austin. So what's your name? Where where are you from? Romania. So you have no identification no. at all. Okay. What's your name? Anita. Spell it. I do not spell it. Anita. How do you spell your name? I know. I know. She spell it. To spell no. it. She, she can't write it for you. She couldn't. What's your name? Spell it. I don't know how to spell it. I don't know so much English. This is my bag. This is all the deodorant. Only two. We watched you put this in that bag. What? We saw you grab it this off the shelf. This is mine for home. We watched you grab it off the shelf. This is mine for home. This is mine for home. This is mine for home. Do you want to bring Bravo Hub in here? Yeah. What do you mean you want to bring it? What's your last name? My name, Anita. Does Anita have a last name? Anita, what? Okay, so you're not going to... Ma'am, I'm not stealing nothing. What is this? Okay, so you're not going to identify you yourself. Can I get 10 police and okay. I don't know why. What's your name? 
Ah, what? Spell it? You don't know how to spell your names? Like, how do you spell it in Romania? No, no. Okay. What's your birthday? Ninety-seven. <laughs> What's your birthday? Ninety-seven February. February what? Ninety-seven. I can see you. See. Sticky fingers. You. you guys have sticky fingers. No, I want to see you. Please. Because I am not here and it's just as last time. I want to see you the camera. When you call me, it's the two times. Not here. You guys are naughty. Different store. What store? Here in this city. Hey, no, just so y'all know, um, you, you can go steal what you want. What? We're all in communication. So every time, like, you do a push out there, guess what? We need so what is your problem with the understore? What's That's your problem? It's not your store. Yeah, I'm joking but, with this no. uh, because I'm looking. She's seeing me. I yeah. put everything mm -hmm. here and I put and go with the, the yeah, last yeah. thing. Because she looked me. She's seeing me. I put okay. what's seen with this. Like, I put here and everything. a lot of hot air. So, yes. I'm joking with this. It's yes. not a joke. Because I see you, you look me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Party, she's a good one. I'm going to go with her. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The 15-year-old girl believes she wouldn't go to jail because she's a minor, saying, that's not a crime anymore. This attitude sums up why they treat it as a joke. On September 17, 2023, a Joliet police officer went to Walgreens for a business check. He was there to talk to the staff about a case from 2021. Upon arrival, a staff member told him about a woman who seemed to be shoplifting. The officer stayed at the front register to watch her. When the woman, later identified as Samantha, came to pay for her items, she suddenly left the store and started running. Where are you going? Stop! You're under arrest! Money, I'm out with email at the Walgreens. No, please. Please. Not for right now. Please. Let me go. Stop resisting. Please. Let me go. Please. Let me go. Okay. 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 Please! You got nowhere to go back here. I let go, I'm gonna get you on the other side. Let go of me. Please don't. Please. I back Please. up coming, and you're gonna get tased. Please don't. Stop right now! Please! Okay. Alright. Stop! Okay. Hands up now! Hands up, you're under arrest! You understand me? I can't put my other hand up. Nope! Put your f hand up! Damn it! Oh. Twenty Walgreens, Ingles and Larkin. Female bit me. Samantha tried to escape from a police officer, but got caught on a fence and bit him while resisting arrest. She managed to break free and hide in the woods. The officer, with backup and sniffer dogs, found her despite the difficult weather. After her capture, Samantha claimed she was injured and needed medical help but her aggressive behavior and escape attempt made her plea less convincing. Ultimately, she was arrested and taken into custody. Yeah, with her, uh, uh, well, the, the, the thing is, I started watching her because uh, two years ago, I dealt with her and shoplifted. Yeah. I never got her arrested, but I kicked her out. Yeah. So when she yeah, walked yeah. in, I knew she was, I knew yeah, what just, she was up to. Yeah, just, remember what I said, just, just call. Like, you're, you ain't gotta deal with these people. Yeah. Like, just fucking... You just said, well, run is, uh, to my own row. It's gonna be... Door's open on the north side of the building. I don't know how many subjects are there. Over by the bank. Some issues be... Joliet Police K-9! Amanda! In the wood lines, you are under arrest! Surrender now! A dog will use a search! He will find you! He will bite you! Joliet Police K-9! Amanda in the wood line, you are under arrest. Make yourself known right now. A dog will be using a search. He will find you and he will bite you. Joliet Police K-9, Amanda in the wood lines. Make yourself known. Surrender now. A dog will be using a search. He will find you. He will bite you. Last chance. Surrender now. Joliet Police K-9. In front of the man. Get off! Turn around! Get off! I can't! I can't move! Please help me! Please help me! Get your arms behind your back! Get off! Get on your stomach right now! I'm trying! Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach! Put your hands behind your back! Arms behind your back! Put your hands behind your back! I can't move! Please see me! Hospital, please! First, before I go, I know I'm going out of his way. I can't! I have to go to the hospital! Oh! I have severe back and arms under my eyes. Where are you? Alright, uh, right. let's pick her up. Ready? Uh, One, uh, two, uh, three. Uh, stand up, stand up. I, I'm Get a, on your toe. Get on your feet. Get I, on your knees. Get on your knees. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm still. Uh, I'm. Uh, stand up, stand up. I'm trying, I'm trying. My foot, my foot's stuck and I have, I have back. Yeah. I need an ambulance. Okay, stand up. Stand up. My, my feet are, so we can get you my feet are stuck in back. Uh, uh, 
right for everyone. Oh, stand up. Hey guys. Oh, oh. 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 Let me know if you're clear. Keep walking. I'm trying. Almost I'm there. Trying. Almost there. Oh. 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 Yeah, where are we going? We're going up this way. I don't know. My pants are all the way down. Yeah. Oh. It's very hard to... My hey, where's the opening, Sarge? Oh. Where's the opening? Wait, one time, uh, to your right. Your right. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Charles, what's that? I don't know. My back hurts so Alright, we'll get you to the end. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, 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 Once we get out of here. Oh, oh. Back. Oh, my. Oh. Good. Good job. Guys, nice work. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got some gloves. We'll get gloves on, guys, and then. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 He's got this arm. Oh. Oh. He's got to go that way. Just come back this way. Ambulance is here, too. Oh. 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 Here, I got it. Hey, can you move the ambulance to right here? Samantha was caught with stolen goods and drugs in her purse. She allegedly took items worth $1.96 and had a warrant for missing a court appearance related to a previous drug charge. She was arrested and charged with aggravated battery against a police officer, drug possession, retail theft, and resisting arrest. What? Bit me. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. They wanted to show up even though I was in the... Okay. Not yeah, I can't, I can't fucking... Like, I've killed with her a thousand times. I, I've never known, like... So, can you just see mm -hmm. what is yours? Yeah. I'll get a property theft you log. Here, you come to the rear wall, bring this Are you injured right now? Yeah. What's hurting? Uh, my, all my legs, yeah, my like, entire legs, like, and my back. My back is so much pain. Why? I have back problems anyway, but I don't know if it was when uh, the officer grabbed me or if when I jumped and I, when I fell from the fence or... So what's your first name, ma'am? Samantha. Leave a comment to share your thoughts and don't forget to share this video with friends if you found it interesting.